Trump ramps up his attacks on Robert Mueller. Well, Donald Trump went to Twitter this week, and he's been critical of Mueller in the past, Robert Mueller's special counsel, but never, never as strong as he's been over the last few days. He called Mueller's probe illegal. He said that Mueller had outside conflicts of interest, and in uh, his latest rant, he's calling on Attorney General Jeff Sessions to shut the probe down calling on him to shut the probe down, calling it a rigged witch hunt. Trump tweeted, quote, this is a terrible situation and Attorney General Jeff Sessions should stop this rigged witch hunt right now before it continues to stain our country any further. Bob Mueller is totally conflicted and his 17 angry Democrats that are doing his dirty work are a disgrace to the USA. He's right. He's absolutely right. Now, we've been over this ad nauseum. We've been over uh, Jeff Sessions and why he recused, so I'm not going to go there. But I'm going to speculate that Trump knows something. Trump knows that uh, uh, Mueller has nothing. It is the only reason. Now, last week we had news that Mueller was investigating Trump's tweets as possible obstruction of justice. So unless Trump definitively knows, because no matter what you believe about him tweeting and going off the cuff with his tweets and that sort of thing, he doesn't. Everything Donald Trump does is done for a reason. He's a very calculated guy. There is a reason he's being this combative, this open, this defiant toward Robert Mueller in those tweets. And I believe it's because Donald Trump knows Robert Mueller has nothing or he has very damning information on Donald Trump. Now, Rudy Giuliani has been out there as well. And Rudy Giuliani is saying, hey, look, this is about impeachment. Donald Trump broke no laws. Donald Trump's only crime was being Donald Trump and beating Hillary Clinton. Well, first beating the 17 establishment picks in the Republican primary for president and then beating Hillary Clinton. That was what Donald Trump did wrong. So Giuliani said, quote, I say this not in my role as a lawyer, but as a concerned citizen and Republican, this election is going to be about impeachment or no impeachment, meaning the midterm, because the Democrats take the House. Trump could, I always say, he could save a baby in the middle of Times Square. They would try to impeach him for blocking traffic. All right. That's what this is about. This is not about, this is not about, Mueller's investigation is not about crimes or no crimes. Manafort is on trial for things that have nothing to do with Russia collusion. Quite frankly, Mueller shouldn't even be prosecuting Manafort. Manafort's facing 25 counts. Paul Manafort, the guy who was Trump campaign chair for like four months, is facing 25 counts in two different federal districts, D.C. and Virginia, on financial crimes that began 10 years before he was ever with the Trump campaign. Mueller should have handed that to the Department of Justice. He didn't, which says to me, says to me, that Mueller wants to just taint the president of the United States. Rudy Giuliani went on to say, quote, if Democrats get control of the House, do you think they're going to treat President Trump fairly? The crowd shouted, no. Giuliani was speaking at, uh, he was endorsing a guy named Eddie Edwards uh, uh, who's running for a congressional seat in New Hampshire. Giuliani said, I don't think they will either. That's the problem. Rudy's right. This is all about impeaching the president. Trump calling out Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Well, that's just, that's just uh, long overdue. Jeff Sessions has dropped the ball like no one else ever has. He has dropped the ball like no one else ever has. It is disgraceful what Jeff Sessions has done. And it is long past time for the president of the United States to fire him. He, uh, it, it's, it's just beyond bad that we have an attorney general, and I'm poking around because news is breaking on this every two seconds. It's beyond bad that the president of the United States has to call out the attorney general like this. Jeff Sessions looks like a man completely lost and terrified. And I always tell you, don't believe those moronic conspiracy theories that Sessions is working behind the scenes. He's not. John Huber, the guy he appointed, was all a dog and pony show. Mueller and Rosenstein are running the Department of Justice. They have one goal, to take out this president. And it's long past time for Donald Trump to fire them all and to put his own people in these roles. People that will get to the bottom of who really committed crimes. And I'm bringing these stories every day. This story is going to be unfolding uh, between Trump and Sessions and Rosenstein. So stick with me every day. Also, go to my new live show, 7.30 a.m. every weekday morning on the Rebel YouTube channel, Declassified Live. You're going to love it. We cover all these topics and I interact with you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.